This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 36 of Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were people, although I have reloaded the game since. I've put my marker back for where we're off to. We're going to carry on with some of these blue quests to tidy them up. Side quests people. Uh, so, Izel of the Vizgere, however we want to pronounce it, we've got to do. But we might do this on the way as well, Guardians of the Pit. Slay skeletons to draw out the champion. And we've also got down here, speak with Asa by Forgotten Ruins. So we've got a few to do. We've got plenty of blues to get through. In fact, we couldn't pick any blues up in the last part because we had so many. There's a load here from another area. So could do with tidying a lot of these up. So we just have a few episodes on blues, methinks. Like the last one was. And let's crack in. Let's get straight to it. I think we've got a... Oh, hey, we've got all of these. That, <laughs> we've got all of these that we picked up from doing the side quests. So let's cash them in. Uh, we'll leave that till last. Good, okay. And we'll get rid of that totem. Uh, not too bad those gloves actually 272 armor attack speed damage to injured enemies and ranks of plus two ranks of barrage which is what we're using might be worth hanging on to for a later time and what's this Learn recipe curative elixir crafting recipe. Go to the alchemist to craft this item. Seems reasonable. Right, let's just uh, grab all the yellows, leave all the blues, methinks. Sword. Sword. Mmm. Sword. It's decent dexterity on that mask, to be fair to it, and plus 24 armor. Well, that's plus 30 on that and plus 20 on that. I don't think it's worth the the worries of them at the moment. The, might hang on to those though. Right, let's go. Uh, oh, recipe. Is that the one we just learned? Yeah, it is. So we could have just dropped it, I think. Now we just sell it at the next uh, place. Mind you, it's only worth one in value. Onward. Hey, Pooch. Should all be relatively nearby, and we will be discovering more areas as we go. These scallywags. Yeah, this is definitely the area to be killing skeletons in. Bloody hellfire. I need more time.
draw out something or other. Uh, does it tell us? Yeah, there we go. So it's showing us, if we change to that quest, it shows us how many we need to slay now to get the champion to come out. Slay the champion of the tar pits. Oh, fuck me. Need time to do that. Fucking hell, I'm getting absolutely battered here. I'll do nicely. Marvellous, eh? I was never in any danger, people, I think you'll find. <laughs> Why is that glowing, but I can't do anything with it? Return to Hadam. Not yet. Not yet. I didn't really pick anything up there. I think it was just the sake of doing the quest. <laughs> Who the frack is this guy? Time to do that. Ow. The hell was that guy? Got a bow out of it though. That's his dash. Oh, hello. Just triggered something here. Not sure what, what though. <laughs> Not overly sure what I'm meant to be doing here, or what I've triggered for that matter. I think it is my quest though. I see, I see. I've got to keep them protected, I think, for a certain length of time. Stay inside the circle, as it were. I'm out of energy. Nice.
Nice. Murmuring obols, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, now, uh, King Ratfella did remind me that, uh, those obols are spent at the purple vendor of curiosities, or whatever they're called, where you can also buy, uh, the keys for those locked chests, as well as trading in the obols for a random possible legendary or not, depending on how the roll of the dice goes. So thanks, King Rat, for that, for the reminders. Well, reminders of the what they are for, and also the fact you can get keys there, because I don't, I don't think I ever knew you could buy the keys there. Just got to find the mountain path here, apparently. Here is the mountain path. Looks like a dungeon to me. Flipping egg fire. This has been some quest, this, by the way. Visgerai Athenium. Whatever the hell that is. It is a dungeon as well, by the way. So, let's make a note of it. Viz. Gerai. Athenaeum. Well, this feels like it's going to lead me somewhere that we're going to be in for a while. What lurks in this place? place. I would have thought the old wards would have triggered. Oh, hello. Maybe it's not as big as I thought after all then. What the hell? Out of energy. Oh. Finally. Place me on that pedestal. I see it. Somewhere in these rooms should be a conduit that will restore me. Without it, I'll be trapped in this state for another eternity. Hey, I'll go find that then for you, Bola. Okay. Amongst the rubble are broken vials, bone and broken stone from the overhead pillars. If the conduit Izel seeks, uh, if the conduit Izel seeks is here, it would be used. It would be usable. Magical conduit. Well, that'll do then. I have the conduit. What next? I have just one more use for you, chap. Why do I feel like you're going to turn on me? Feelings. There we go, yeah. Needs to suck my life force out of me, probably. Oh. Ah, a worthless device. 
Well, perhaps your will is stronger than I thought. Strong enough to resist possession. It appears this will have to be done the old-fashioned way. I shall wear your face! Right, who the frack is behind me here? Go away, you. Holy shit, what was that? Nearly got up. Baka. Nice. That'll do. Complete the a voice of, from the past. I think they said view challenges there actually. Completed, yeah. Not sure what it gave us actually, but unless it adds to everything else. Well, I'm sure we got some XP out of it and what have you. So, where to next, people? Well, that so happens. We've now got extra exclamation marks kicking around. Uh, I think I'm going to leave picking up more exclamation marks at the minute, possibly, until we've finished off a few of the others. Guardians of the Pit, we've got to return in. And we've still got this one as well. We, well, we could, we could walk to that now. Don't think there's any quicker way to get there. I mean, well, I suppose it's mm, six enough a dozen maybe to walk from there to from where we are. So let's just get on with it. Really didn't want to pick that up. How's our gold doing? 
200,000, building it back up again. Well, how many times does it want to tell me there's a world boss spawning? this away any more time Follow the line, Stephen. Those things, honestly. The amount of health they take off you, those ballista things. Don't know what killed me there. I'm so busy getting rid of that ballista. <laughs> well, it's actually spawned me right next to her, so I must have made the checkpoint for it. Looks like I've already asked those questions. What can we expect inside these ruins? The dead walk inside. More than I dare to count on my last visit. No mistakes this time. We must find Alimantala, collect her belongings, and leave. Quickly. Very well. Let's do this, you and I. I'm not ready yet. Of course, it's a fucking place full of ballistas that I love. Yeah, I thought there was another space in here.
to cover our retreat. We will win. I need more time. Nicely. Tala's belongings. Curious if the two healths that pops out of that chest were still there, but they are not. Really? A big skull over there which I've actually I think have triggered inadvertently. I was gonna do these guys first. bunch of nothing in here. A whole bunch of nothing going on. Whoa, what the frack is that thing? <laughs> Three remain. Although I can only see two markers for them, but anyway. Ah, there's another one up there, see it? Big cross. I don't have enough energy. Ow. Well, 
Well, there's a big badger in there with a massive dome around it. Let's do this. I assume we've got to stay in this circle to damage it. There he goes. Travel to the study halls. Getting coin out of these. picked up a fair old amount of stuff. Oh, some serious upgrades in armour going on with some of this stuff. That hood's got plus 56 armour on it. I'm not going to be able to ignore this stuff for much longer. That crossbow's got... Yeah, that crossbow's not as good as it happens. More armour on the gloves as well. I mean, armour's not everything. I mean, I, to be honest, I've put a bunch of armour on with one of the skulls. Nearly 200 extra armour. I'm not feeling like it's doing a huge amount of difference. I think a lot of it is more to do with the elemental protection than it is anything else. We have got... Oh, that's a sword. That's a crossbow, which isn't as good. Isn't as good. Rapid fire, twisting blades. And, uh, do we use uh, twisting blades? I don't know if we do. Don't use rapid fire. Plus 63 armor on that though, and plus 56 armor on that helm. Could transfer the imbuement across, but not the perks. Ultimate skill damage, cutthroat skill damage. We don't. Eh. Have to check what cutthroat's referring to. I can't remember. Uh, trap skill damage is useful to us though. But see, there's four perks on that, the legendary armor, and I've only got three on this rare one. So that's why I keep avoiding them. Oh, hello. I'm low on energy. Guys with the hammers take a huge amount of bloody damage off me. Alim's belongings. I will take their belongings and carry them back to the girl. Come find me there when you come. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? You're just going to leave me to bloody fight this guy on my own. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 
Well, it seems that there's more to discover in this place outside of the quest. I need to go back and finish the quest off with her, though. Fuck are these guys, Jesus Christ. Please get back from them. Let it end. Right, what is happening, people? Why is there so many of these fucking things? <laughs> fucking hell. Getting absolutely battered. I think we need to speak to this badger here. No! Please! Ooh, ten murmuring orbals, thank you very much. I think we'll be visiting the purple orbal shop soon. Six of eight heals, that's not so bad. I'm not ready yet. Well, we could do with a few healths if we could find them, people. <laughs> Fucking hell, who's this badger? Two badgers, in fact.
Ooh, did all right there. I'm actually, I managed to end up with more health than I started with, which was quite good. Mechanical box. Return the mechanical box to the pedestal. All right. If I knew where the pedestal was, I would do that. All right, I've just realized it's on me back. It also seems to have a bit of a shift on as well at the minute. Going quite fast. Uh, well, there's a marker up there. That might be it. Fucking hell, are you? Not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. stuff picked up in here. Plus 51 armor on those. A damage to chill, damage to frozen, damage to injured. That, that's actually a good ring for us. A dagger with more damage on it as well. Dexterity. Oh, 13% move, movement speed. That's getting looked at. Mm, what are those? Total armor increase. Yeah, I don't think it's as good as that one. Basic skill attack speed, though, goes up 4%. It's all resistance stuff. Oh, the barrier regen. Well, that, yeah, that barrier generation's in a socket. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, either of those hoods might give us a bit of a perk, actually. A 675 against 696. <laughs> How did it decide that was the order I wanted it in? Anyway. Got any blues we can get rid of? Maybe a couple that have been uh, collapsed. Well, junked.
Well, that's the pedestal. So we need two of these, looks of it. I think we'll leave the healing thing for now because we're uh, all reet at the moment. So we've got another one of those things to find. Ow. Fucking hell, what's going on here? To the left, to the left. Lynx. Goodbye to you, sir. I think we're going to have to dump a couple of things here. Mind you, we can teleport back, can't we? I keep forgetting that. We can teleport back and straight back again. At least dump all the junk. Uh, not going to use those. Mm, they're worth a thought. Armor's good in both of those. Intelligence, yeah, don't want intelligence. Dodge chance is higher. Control impaired, uh, shadow resistance, poison resistance. Because I don't know what it's going to give me at the end of all of this, so if we could do a quick dump of junk at the very least and then dive straight back again, that would be lovely. Shop, a shop, my kingdom for a shop. Well, it's really the blacksmith we want, isn't it? Well, he's a weapons guy. I can't remember where this blacksmith is, people. Where are you, dude? What? Oh, is that him? How can I help? Uh. Oh, we've got a good bunch of stuff out of it. Seven hundred and ninety two damage for a longbow instead of a crossbow. And it's not upgraded yet, so it could go up a bit. Could go into the eight hundreds that if it's upgraded. Feel like we've got standard bows that have got eight oh nine on them though. Plus sixty two dexterity on it though, which is similar to the decks we've got on the legendary. Plus thirty percent to basic skill damage, which is decent. Plus 20% damage to close enemies, which is decent. And an empty socket. Mm. Meanwhile, back in Gotham.
Well, sometimes you get a big bunch of coin, and other times you get nothing at all. Nothing at all. Open sesame. Wow, check that out. Oh, oh Christ, boss fight, slither. I try to dodge that. Oh, stop it now. There he goes. Slay the you did. Oh, got gloves out of him as well. Legendary. Slay the my heart is singing like a whirlpool, it never ends. Right. Happy with that. I'll take a note of this the boss though. Was it Slither it was called? Slither. Snakes don't walk, they slither.
Marvellous. Well, I think we can teleport our asses out of here, people, because we've got everything. Leaving Le Dungeon. Well, we've got a couple to hand back in. The... Hey, damn. I killed the champion of the pits. Ah, well done. That's one less problem to worry about. Marvellous. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more to the end of that, but never mind. Iron Wolf Azar. How are your wounds? I'm healing well, thanks to the herbs Tala carried in her pack. She was a skilled healer and a cunning warrior. We offer you Tala's dagger as a token of our thanks. Remember her name and carry it well. Nice. Heading towards level 49 here. A rewards to claim, is it? Oh, getting a skill point. Whoop, whoop. Skill point, 25,000 in gold and bonus XP, which I think we've already been given. And it just turns out that Tala's fanged blade is utter shite. <laughs> it's got like it's minus 46 damage per second on it. Uh, it's a bit strange. The item power's not that much lower than what we've got on, but the damage on it's a bit rubbish. Basic skill damage goes up by 18%. Damage to enemies affected by traps goes up by 7.5%. A lucky hit up to a 4% chance to execute injured non-elites. Yeah, I mean, it's just not worth it for that damage reduction, though, is it? I don't think. Legendary gloves. Ooh, they look badass, though. Unlocks a new look on salvage as well. We get plus 10 to all stats. We're losing our attack speed. Damage to injured enemy. Oh, we just lose our barrage. Plus two ranks to barrage. Damn. Plus two ranks to penetrating shot, which we're not using. Plus two ranks of flurry. But we could try check. We could try changing what those are, though, because you can change those, can't you? You can change the perks. Twisting blades orbit for a short time. Twisting Blades orbit for a short time after they return to you, dealing 15% of Twisting Blades return damage per hit. I don't use Twisting Blades though, do I? So, they are more powerful, but I'm not using the moves that are on them. Disappointingly. Yeah, I'll look at all that stuff off camera, I think. Might as well get rid of that. I might put that dagger in the... I'm joking, I'm going to put that dagger in the chest just in case somebody says, don't be silly, Steve, that damage has nothing to do with it. It's, those perks are awesome or something. <laughs> but I don't feel like that dagger's worth using. Uh, teeming point dagger is a little bit more damage on it, but I don't think it's enough to start faffing around with everything on it. 
to make it a... Uh, Yeah, because I've not upgraded that one fully yet. I'll have a look off camera at some of this stuff, I think. Right, we've got, uh, quest-wise, I think we've tidied up quite a lot there. Alright, we've only got deadly trade left in that area. So, I think that's fractured peaks and dry steps. So, I think we might try and conquer some of the some of those ones. Where's that one about? Way down there. So that's a new area. So it might be worth just working down this list and yeah, because I think these are areas that we've not sorted out either. Oh no, it's just a way back. So that's fine. Give thanks to the shrine. Oh, right, okay, yeah. You have to use your... Uh, Emotes, I think. Unless that's not the one I highlighted. I think it was. Yeah. So we could go and tidy up quite a few of these as it happens in the other areas. Just teleport to them and run to them. Some of them should be fairly quick. But we're getting really good perks from, uh, from doing them. Because we're getting all of these collection... Uh, Challenge is done. Area challenges and stuff. Am I looking at the right thing there when I do that? I think I am. Codexes of power. Yeah, that's open world. Seems to get that different screen when you when you feel like I'm looking at the wrong thing. Abilities. So we'll be doing this one, won't we? Uh Increased damage to vulnerable enemies is what we were after. So that's going to be maxed out now. To 9%. So we need to think about what our next passive is going to be now. It's all about the passives at this point. Unless I'm going to start changing my moves. Which I don't think I will at this point in time. We don't use imbuement. After knocking back or knocking down an enemy, you gain 4% increased critical strike chance again. That's We do knock them down with our caltrops, actually. So that would be useful. Your evade cooldown is reduced by seconds, 0.5 seconds when you daze an enemy. When you critically strike a dazed enemy, they are knocked down 0.5 seconds. Gain 9% damage reduction against damage over time effects. Gain 6% damage reduction while inflicted with control impairing effects. Might be worth doing those. I don't think I've done many to do with protection, protecting myself. It's all been to do with that about damage. More movement speed after critically striking an enemy would be very useful in battle though, wouldn't it? 5% extra movement speed. Critical strikes against close enemies have up to 85% chance to heal you for 1% of your maximum life. Yeah, so there's quite a few I wouldn't mind tapping into there. They don't sound overly overwhelming, but they they are going to be super useful, especially in those boss fights. Anyway, I shall have a think on that one. Right, well, I think we've decided what we're going to do, people. Off camera, I'll have a little look at uh, what I've got in this inventory and what I'm going to maybe do or do not do with them and junk them or keep them. I'll have a little think about it. Rather than you have to sit through the pain of my decision-making. Well, there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.